All right, guys, happy Friday. We're going to dive right into messages from the Divine Masculines. The energy I'm picking up on is <clears throat> a bit of sadness and shock. Okay, so I feel like this is for those of you who might have blocked your Divine Masculines, recently blocked your Divine Masculines, you're thinking about doing it. Um, it's, this, it's this energy of like sourness, like a flat tire. Okay, so someone feels the lack of your presence, the lack of your energy. Um, whoever you are, I feel like you're maybe just at a place where you need space. Like, let's get some cards on your energy first. Like, I don't sense that you've blocked your Divine Masculine from a malicious place. Um, and that's where I feel like the sadness is coming from, along with the shock. Um, because they're also feeling like, okay, like, they're self-reflecting. Or they're reflecting on what it is that caused you to block them or push you away. Or they they're reflecting on it like they might very well know what it is it's like the in and out behavior they might be kind of looking more closely like if they're in a karmic situation for example they could be a little bit stressed out in that karmic situation like they weren't expecting to feel so thrown off their game is what i'm getting and i feel like by you blocking this person creating this like no access to you type of energy um they didn't expect to feel as thrown off as they did okay what's your energy like let's get your energy first because i want to see where you're at or why you're thinking about it or why you did it in the first place so we can clarify that okay so we have feminine <laughs> um so i do feel like that's why i'm not feeling any malicious energy coming from it because i do feel like you're at that place now where like if you don't make this move or if you don't create this space for yourself then you're going to continue to go through loops or as the divine feminine energy here, you may be learning a lesson at this time to really detach. Um, it, it could just be that there is something that you keep experiencing on the journey. You're not finding clarity. You're not finding that the connection is moving anywhere. The connection could be taking from you um, rather than giving. You might find that your masculine's not reciprocating. I just feel like whoever this is, you're being called to draw proper boundaries healthy boundaries and i feel like that's the first step is just creating space away from this person so that you can breathe okay we also have contracts career and commitments you could very well be focused on this right now or these are things that have been affected by you holding on to this divine masculine um your career could be you know like you you feel dazed at work you're not giving it your best if if many of you are like you create your work you could not be feeling as motivated um i feel like with commitments as well whatever you have that you usually prioritize it might be things that are like you know slipping through your fingers or you're feeling forgetful um i feel like you've been drained um divine feminine like whoever you are and i feel like this person senses that from you and there's this energy of like sadness and kind of concern because now they're really thinking about their behavior. Maybe because you stayed attached and you, it took you some time to draw that boundary, they, they were thinking that there was nothing wrong or that their behavior was okay. And I feel like when you had this realization, you maybe suddenly cut them off instead of communicating to them that it's like, hey, I can't deal with this anymore. I feel like you're just in this energy of like, I just need space away from you. Okay, and now you have a divine masculine who's kind of like shaking their leg. Um, again, they feel really thrown off their game. Like I'm talking about like stomach ache. Like I don't feel good. I can't eat. I can't sleep. Um, that kind of feeling, okay? there. It's like this pull to you, this intense pull, but it's getting them to recognize or self-reflect. Like I do see like the hanged man energy coming out where they're forced to put things into perspective it's like they're 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 caught by the foot hung upside down and now they really have to think about themselves or maybe address their behavior or think about their behavior i don't feel like there's many people in their life that puts them in this place of introspection okay and that's why i'm saying like they weren't expecting they weren't expecting to feel as sour or like a, a stale bag of bread or like i don't know how to explain it it's just like when you um when you take a pin and you poke something and you you hear that the air is slowly making the thing deflate that's 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 what i'm getting for this divine masculine okay um let's go ahead and get their energy here to confirm some things how are they feeling right now Okay, so we have memories 
Um, we have past lack and suffering coming up along with self-worth and expectations. Um, so these are some of the key things I feel like where the sadness is coming from or even like the word suffering or just feeling like a lack of something. I feel like maybe you've humbled them in a sense or they, this, they were used to being so cocky and confident and they really thought that there was nobody who could ever come in there and shut that all down. And I feel like you came in there and you shut it all down, but it's because you're their feminine counterpart. You were literally designed to teach them this lesson as, as well as they're teaching you lessons on drawing some of these healthy boundaries. It's like as much as you feel this connection to this divine masculine, they still need to learn lessons of um, like self-worth and also like expectations. And I, I'm hearing like the expectations that other people have of you as well. Like you might be the, the this feminine here who you hold others to a high expectations because you 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 treat others to a very like high expectation or to a high standard so naturally you expect other people to reciprocate so in this case i feel like because your masculine has not been reciprocating many of you have been forced to create a lot of this distance because when someone's not reciprocating they're literally taking your energy okay and then what comes along with those those experiences of them not reciprocating time and time again is you might even start to question your self-worth okay so many of you could have had this lesson mirrored to you but what i'm getting is you learn that lesson and you cut that cord this person is left feeling very nostalgic of you this could be why we have this person in this position here um they they can't help but feel like this like i feel the sadness where you can't help but just feel off like i feel like other people around them are like man like why are you so grumpy why are you so cranky like why are you moping around the place I feel like they couldn't even hide it if they wanted to okay there's maybe m memories of you everywhere or as their divine feminine counterpart um now is the time where many of your masculines are getting hit with so many synchronicities of you because you're you literally blocked um their energy by blocking them or by creating that boundary or needing space i feel like they're in like this bit of a soul shock we have ego vanity and pride coming through because i'm telling you guys no one's ever done this before to this divine masculine they're used to acting really shitty like for lack of a better word um towards people um and i feel like they <clears throat> it's not that they particularly acted shitty towards you it's just like i'm hearing no effort okay with the word lack there as well like lack of effort okay and we also have past coming up they could be reflecting too on past relationships that they've been in and just how much your energy is different than anybody else who's tried to draw this boundary with them okay if someone has tried to draw boundaries with this divine masculine in the past they would ghost them cut them off um basically treat them like shit okay i feel like this divine masculine has had a slew of women in their lives where they will just talk to any which type of way they want to talk down on them and no one's ever really stood up and drawn um boundaries but with the contracts and commitment card here i feel like you guys have this contract of like hey listen we're gonna meet up in this lifetime and i'm gonna teach you this bloody good lesson <laughs> and that's where you guys are really at um that's why they're feeling so affected by it normally they're good right but i feel like you you didn't even have that conversation with them you didn't even bother to to plead and to try to confront i feel like many of you were like i'm not even going to waste my breath like i know what i need to do for myself i need to look out for myself and take care of myself so many of you really just kind of queen of swords cutthroat like switched up like that okay um maybe you never thought you had it in you but i feel like something shifted where you're ready to you, you know maybe even you yourself get out of this ego vanity and pride maybe the, you're starting to realize like it's, is it really worth it like what am i really staying for like okay right now it's the attraction to this person it is the intensity it is the chemistry but it's like is it really all worth it like yes they're sexy and, and they have so much charm and like i'm feeling such of like uh an intense like romantic even sensual or sexual at times that pull but many of you are like is it really worth it like i'm in my ego then if that's the case because i'm not getting what i really want at the core reciprocated to me okay so a lot of you are choosing yourselves that's what it is like this person is used to other people taking their feelings 
tossing it in the garbage and putting this masculine's feelings ahead of their own, right? Accepting shitty behavior that this masculine has been dishing out. But you, on the other hand, I feel like, no, there was too much disharmony, too much triggering happened. Ultimately, in the end, you avoided this conflict here, okay? I feel like you started to feel this way and now by queen like you came in there like the queen of swords like you queen of swords that bitch um and now i feel like the same feelings that you were feeling when this person was not reciprocating they are now feeling it okay and with triggers coming up they're highly triggered like they're cranky around other people okay you, you really took this person by surprise or you caught them off guard okay um I'm also feeling this longing for you as well or wishing they could say they were sorry. I'm sorry, baby. Did I wake you? Oh, you're so cute. Someone asked me in the comments, is the cat in the basket real? <laughs> I was like, yes, she's very real. <laughs> um, but let's go ahead, guys, and get the uh, energy between you. I can't stop petting her now. Oh, my goodness. You're just a cute little baby. <laughs> okay. Let's get the energy from this masculine in regards to just the connection with you what are they feeling in their heart space what are they learning through this separation are these not so pleasant feelings okay so we have the chemistry and we also have the awareness card here coming up uh, again i think it came up in a reading not too long ago as well where you know this is going to trickle into this person keeping a close eye on you watching you just her position alone. I feel like you're someone that speaks your mind. Um, they're about to, to watch you <laughs> cut them off and then like they're gonna be really bothered that they're the only ones left in this lack energy. Feeling triggered, feeling harmony. You're not even bothering to address it in like a, a way that's creating conflict now. Cause I feel too like this is what creates chemistry your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive like you have someone here that like they can't help but feel hurt by you but but i'm like affected okay they they, they feel chemistry with you because you're the only one that can affect them on this level okay it's like you cut them off and now you left them longing for you or yearning for you in some way and i feel like what's about to happen is they're about to watch you be completely unbothered by cutting them off or creating that space for yourself and i feel like awareness is a positive card to come through as well because for the divine feminine here you'll see that i feel like many of you will be like i should have done this sooner okay but don't beat yourselves up about it because i feel that it, it was a necessary lesson okay many of you are really going to be getting into this place of self-care like i feel like your energy can breathe again okay and what many of you will find is since you've detached, it's like no longer heavy energy on you. Many of you might find that you all of a sudden get this urge to start getting into this place of like self-care mode, like sexy, single, free, like maybe doing something different with your hair. All of a sudden you want to wear dresses or clothes with lots of color. You want to wear lots of jewelry. You want to um, just, again, like indulge in your femininity and i feel like it is about to drive this divine masculine wild okay like they are about to go crazy at the thought of you cutting them off and like you might be silent right now but i feel like a lot of this energy here is coming to hit them hard and it's just kind of the scales balancing here with awareness coming in because like for many of you who are in the feminine energy i feel like you gave so much and the scales had to balance at some point on this journey between you two okay and what i what i feel is happening is like part of this could be your masculine's karma for what what is the term they say having a silver spoon in your mouth you know it's like they had a silver spoon in their mouth and it's like they fucked up they messed up in some way they let it slip through their fingers there was many chances or that they had to make decisions to do things in the right way um, but i feel like a lot of them ignored their intuition and some of the the blowback from that is watching you move on but it's it's not only that it's like watching you move ahead and then they're left with this constant longing for you okay 
So that's what I have for this check-in, guys. I don't know who this is meant for, but I hope you guys enjoy. Take it easy, and I'll catch you guys in the next one, okay? Bye, guys.